Okay, I'm at the Vernal Pool at, near the Kettle Pond Visitor Center. It's a beautiful Vernal Pool, classic Northeast Vernal Pool. This pool has a hydro period of about 10 months. So it holds water for 10 months approximately, and then it dries up. Of course, it all depends on how much rain we get in a given year. This pool's really amazing because it's got marbled salamanders, spotted salamanders, and wood frogs all breeding in it at some point in the year. And it's hard to see the egg masses in the water right now, so I've collected a few um, so you can get a closer look at them. So here we have um, egg masses of the spotted salamander and the wood frog. First I want to talk to you about these egg masses of the spotted salamander. I'm going to pick this up so maybe you can see it a little bit better. So this is the egg mass of the spotted salamander. Um, this egg mass has probably 100 or 120 embryos within it. And I know that just because I've counted embryos in these egg masses a lot. Um, this was probably laid a week ago or so. It's taken on quite a lot of water, but I don't see that the embryos have developed very much. And it's been very cold. Um, again, so this, these are individual eggs. Um, with a membrane around them and an embryo within, surrounded by an outer matrix of jelly. So that's the clear morph of the spotted salamander. And then if we move over here, we can see the milky morph or the white morph or the cloudy morph um, egg mass of the spotted salamander. Um, you can see how very different these are. Um, again, this has some protein embedded within it that's produced by the female. You can't see the individual embryos within. Um, I guess this is probably at a similar developmental stage, but um, you can't see the embryos, so we're not sure. Um, this is a, a smaller egg mass. Maybe there are 70 um, individual embryos within there, maybe 60. So that's the white morph of the spotted salamander egg mass. And then over here, we have um, an egg mass of the wood frog. And this egg mass is, has been here for quite some time. I mean, not in my container, of course, but it's been in um, the vernal pool for quite some time. This is probably two to three weeks old, probably going on uh, three weeks. And the, I found a whole bunch, probably going on three weeks, I found a whole bunch of egg mass, masses clustered together in a communal oviposition site. And these egg masses, again, can contain anything from 300 to 1,000 uh, individual embryos within. You can see that these eggs are hatching. So this has been here for some time. It's gotten a lot of warmth. Um, and you can see these... Uh, tadpoles right in the bottom of that container and they've actually already hatched. I probably helped them hatch when I took the egg mass out of the water. So um, this is quite far along. The jelly layers are starting to break down and the individual tadpoles are starting to escape from that egg mass. <laughs> 